people, it's Mara Bird, and uh, welcome to the DST. Uh, baby steps, blah, 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 blah. So we are here, I know it's been a long time, how did that eclipse season treat you? It either eclipsed some good things or some bad things into your life, but uh, it damn sure was a doozy, we'll just put it that way. Uh, I don't like doing readings during eclipse season because things like change on a dime. It's just, it's a crazy, like, I don't know, is it three weeks or something like that between the two? And like, it's just time off plus a Mercury retrograde. I was like, yeah, you know what, like, universe, plus I've been traveling. So, anywho, if you can't tell, because I've been sick constantly since I've been traveling. Anyway, so we're going to get into this because it's been a while. Plus tea, folks, what is the gossip? on you. If you're interested in a personal reading, we have links down in the description. Um, I might be closing those for a couple of months for the summer months. So if you want to get something in, great. If not, um, yeah, let me know. And if there's something that is besides the gigs that I have listed on Fiverr, just you're more than welcome to email me. Okay. All right, let's get into this. Pile number one. Well, that was fast. Claim your independence. We have cat spirit. I love it. Oh, this is interesting. We're going to get a little tarot. I'm going to get just a couple cards out, take a look at them, and we're just going to roll on our way. Oh, it's exciting. Are y'all getting your beach bodies on? <laughs> Are y'all getting your beach bodies on? Let's see what's here on the split. Ooh, we've got Knight of Voices and a Seven of Cups or Seven of Emotions in here, which is meaning that you've got options and there might be somebody coming in. So we're going to see. We're going to see. All right. Spirit, three cards for the collective, please. Pile number one. Pardon. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> What's the T? I mean, I got the Hierophant in reverse. Let me show you. Which is talking about independence because the Hierophant is all about um, commitments, right? So when it's in reverse, it's a non-commitment. Ooh. We've got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Whoa. Oh, my nose is itching. Oh, okay. So, pile number one. It is very clear what's going on here. We have claim your independence. Yeah, and I'm also seeing like this cat has two different colored eyes. So there might be somebody that was trying to make you jealous or maybe try and triangulate you or something like that or was jealous of you. I definitely feel like you were dealing with someone that was just looking at you sideways, giving you the side eye. Right? That's what that cat is doing. And looking, that cat is looking at something because it wants to eat it. Right? It's that, that string. It's also like I'm getting like, you might have been dealing with someone who was like playing with you. Like the, um, I was just listening to this book with uh, Neil Strauss, The Game. It's Cat String Theory. Where somebody will dang this, dangle the, the string in front of you and like that and the cat's like, oh my god, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. And as soon as the cat gets its paw in it, it drops it and it leaves away. So this is my, my, this might be what per somebody was doing to you, or it might be somebody might have been do trying to do this to you, right? Is to dangle something in front of you. But I feel that you're the dangler. <laughs> I feel that the I feel like a player got played. I'm not gonna lie. I am definitely getting some like again that book, the game, the the by Neil Strauss. Can I say it like three times? Like if you read that as a female and don't get triggered, that's amazing. Why? Because then you can pick up on these people from a mile away when they're doing this like turning off the taps and like getting real cold and like negging you and all this other stuff. It's just like, yeah, no, you hauled ass. I've got the higher front. You might be leaving a marriage. I mean, the higher front is a pretty big ass card to be having here you might have decided but so, someone something was not committed someone was not committed committed right or maybe you just were in something that wasn't committed right maybe it was just like a casual thing or something like that I don't know but I see here and there's two very clearly because you see the wheel is in reverse here so um I feel like you didn't want to wrap your karma up in somebody else's karma like I felt like I feel like I yeah this is stagnation this is like things aren't working for me I can't move forward money isn't coming into my pocket all of these things like your independence I feel like you felt that you're because it says cat spirit right claim your independence from someone who may not even really like you that much and I'm not gonna say that they didn't like you but they damn sure didn't respect you right they there's an envy here this is someone who's envious of you. 
um, that feels, and, and also I feel like they're just one of those people that'll like snatch their their energy away in order to make you chase and run. And because we've got this cat spirit, cats, you can do that with a dog and a dog's like, oh, 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 please, 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 please. You can't do that with a feral cat. <laughs> they're like, I've been roaming. <laughs> Roving is my middle name, right? Like you're, yeah, no, I definitely feel like, um, cause we have a six of cups, which is in the reverse here with the queen of swords. But the six of cups is all about nostalgia. I mean, look at her. She's like, this is, the six of cups is about someone that made you feel like a kid. Someone that made you feel like you were just special and you had a special bond and maybe past lives or, or what have you. But with the queen of swords paired with the, with the six of cups here, like this, the Queen of Swords is like, with all this flapping around my head, like all of this, this might be like a really smooth talker too. Like all this going around my head, I am very clear, right? I am the eye of the storm. I am very clear that this is not my match. I am very clear that this is not my wish fulfillment. I'm very clear that even though there is a Six of Cups connection, um, shenanigans and fuckery. <laughs> Yeah, no, this is hardcore. I get like I heard slice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's the the word on the street is that uh, you freed yourself from something, and um, something that I feel like maybe people didn't think that you would because of that six of cups, right? But like I mean, this is major arcana over here with the hierophant in reverse and the wheel of fortune. That's like my luck is running out or their luck is, bad luck is kicking up something, something where you're just like, this is not, this is no bueno. So you released yourself. So yes, all right, pile number one, easy peasy. Let's get into pile number two. All right. I don't know, somebody's asking about a third party. I don't know. <laughs> I just went through this situation myself and um, like, I do know what's going on with that, but I don't know about this, but, but um, if you're interested in more, you're more than welcome to book a personal reading with me, especially if it's just one question. It's very, I have like an introductory men, menu, menu gig, and then I have uh, some of the, the, the more expensive reads that require a lot more energy and they have a lot more people involved. Um, so, <clears throat> all right, pile number two. Where's the spray? I have the spray. All right, it's okay. We'll be all right. Right? <laughs> Pile number two. I don't always have it. Let me get some water. Let's get there. Yeah, no, this is, there it is. I'm glad. That energy from pile number one. There might be a lot of eyes on you. Oh, I just wanted to call you Empress. Yeah, there, I think there's a lot of eyes on you. Seeing what your next move is going to be. All right, pile number two. overall for pile number two okay they want me to pull it yeah, okay okay that's interesting oh there might be energies around me okay giraffe spirit what's the t on you we've got giraffe spirit see the big picture so let's go ahead and get some tarot on there okay yeah sometimes like if i'm in a hotel people you need to know this especially if you work with lenormand deck to my my readers out there that are like maybe just stepping into like working with lenormand or the kipper the easiest way to learn how that deck works is to take it in different scenarios like take it in a, a hotel room or an airbnb or to school or whatever and just let the cards show you that like when an old man walks by the old man walks out like pops out right those cards are very very literal and um I don't know why I'm getting into that. I just feel like I'm I'm trying to gather all the baby readers. <laughs> come, come, my fledglings. All right, woo, see the big picture. I don't want this to be a <laughs> Yeah, okay, oh, this is eclipse season. Okay, yeah, I'm like, this can't be a continuation. Oh, with that card out again. I feel like this is a, oh. This might be the other side of this. Ooh, look at that, Empress in reverse. We were just talking, okay, this might be a continuation of pile number two. 
different point of view. Okay, all right, so we've got giraffe spirits, see the big picture. The, the tea on you, whoever I'm speaking to, it actually feels a bit more of a masculine energy, actually. It could be in the middle, but the other one was like felt very, very feminine. Um, but we have this ace of inspiration and the seven materials in reverse. So like something didn't get off the ground, somebody didn't invest, someone didn't move forward with their passions, someone, I'm just hearing, didn't invest, like didn't dip their toe in the water, wasn't really interested, I'm also getting, I'm also getting like a very um, lethargic, uh, energy I feel like you know there could be some like depression or something like that going on because of this I feel yeah I'm getting uh, like four cups energy just like not caring like just a not caring it actually feels like how I used to feel when I was on my depression medication like it took the depression away but I just felt like I was in this weird void like I had no feelings you know what I mean that's what this feels like I don't like it <laughs> Um, so the T on you is that you didn't invest in something and you didn't move forward on something. And we've got a 10 of fucking, I'm sorry, 10 of emotions with a six of cups. That is, I mean, a 10 of cups. Yeah, what did I say about four of cups? We have a 10 of cups and a six of cups. The, between the two is a four of cups at play. Yeah, that's that like, mm -hmm. see this card in the last reading was like six of cups. I feel like this was offered to someone, but they've got the 10 of emotions here. Yeah, this is a person that's very emotionally unavailable, right? Is a non-starter. They may not like change, but they, I mean, this is a lot of cups. This is a lot of cups and have a six of cups with the 10 of cups. Like that's like ultimate, if it was in the upright, like that's the ultimate like partnership or friendship or job or relationship like this is a lot of emotion this is a, and so to have all of these in reverse it's like it's, you know I think the gossip on you is maybe people realizing that maybe the issue is you you know I'm getting something along those lines of like you turning down or not moving forward or not investing in something with the six of wands this is all these are all amazing cards when they're in the upright amazing cards and we have the six of inspiration here in this future energy of the six of wands in reverse six of wands in the upright is is uh, an energy of we made it and we got past all of the the five of wands which is the fighting and the competition right like in the future this this whatever happened you know here yeah I just don't like I think that's that's the, the talk right here because we have an empress in reverse which I say about empress before with the two of voices but an empress in reverse it's like someone isn't moving it's almost like a hangman energy here but I mean the empress especially this particular one like she walks in the room and she like throws off her hood people just think like she's this little anime character and then she throws off her hood and she's like the bad B right and then you've got this two of voices though is like I don't feel like this this empress is hesitating in this two of voices I think this empress is like I don't know I'm getting this do not approach <laughs> I'm getting this do not approach, but this energy feels actually separate from this. It could be both. It, you could be the empress in reverse, or you could just be a masculine in your feminine energy in reverse. Um, but like I said, I felt like this was a little bit more of a masculine energy, but I'm just, I feel like people are realizing that, um, or talking about uh, like a stagnation point, like something didn't get off. I just keep getting failure to launch, failure to launch, and, um, and it's a shame. So, okay, all right, I'm, I'm like, let me get out of this energy. I don't like it. It's just, it's too stagnant for my my taste. Oh, I don't have to. I'm like, oh, we'll do pile three, maybe four. Okay. Um, yeah, it's the energy around us, right? Like, again, those eclipses bring in a hailstorm. If there's something that's not working in your life and you get, uh, and you get warnings about it, and you don't keep
heed the warnings, the universe is going to bring a tower in, right? Like the universe, that's what towers are, is when you're not, they're either an epiphany, which is a good thing, or it could, or it could be a bad thing, or they are a, a universe taking out the foundation of something that wasn't built right in the first place. And depending on your houses and your birth chart, you can predict what area of life that's going to happen, if it is. Or, you you know, once you burn through your karma, my, I mean, I used, like I said, I put a helmet during eclipse season because, I mean, I've lost jobs, friends, lovers, <laughs> like in a, in a heartbeat in eclipse season, and it never fails. <laughs> It never fails, so I'm just like, what might possibly not be going right in my life? I just keep my eyes open and say, okay, I'll take it away because I don't want a tower, right? Besides, you get involved with the wrong person. Oh, my goodness. Cat spirit, again, claim your independence. Um, it's so funny. Let's get, okay, there we go. Ooh, we have rhino spirit. What's the T on you? Rhino spirit and buffalo spirit. Abundance. The abundant universe will provide and overcome obstacles. Yeah, I think people really see this is like a super high vibrational. Like the the T on you is that you are this rhino spirit, but you do it with grace. Look at the rhino; it's got like all of these this wreath around it, right? And then you've got this sexy buffalo that's looking you in the eye. That's like come at like this is like when we talk about earth energy, when we talk about pentacles, like this is like money in hand, palm in hand. This is actual. No, this isn't just spiritual abundance, okay? So people are saying that, A, that you are creating abundance for yourself because wealth doesn't just mean necessarily coin, but it can be resources. It can be people that you know. It can be, you know, contacts, what your friend, you know, it could be your social media presence, right? Like all of these different things that give us social capital in the world that gives us, a, you know, leeway, knowing people, having investors, that type of thing, right? So, um, and if you don't have investors, go DM some people on Twitter every day and find people to invest in you, right? So, this is a person right here that, like, just bulldozes through. This is what people, that bulldozes through obstacles and turns those obstacles into something um, abundant. Yeah, I'm getting real magician vibes here. Okay. I'm kind of excited. I love this energy. I'm like, yeah, let me ride this energy train here. The other ones, not so much. Okay, this came out. With the sun, okay, we've got the sun in reverse. Wow, these are flying out. Are you seeing this? Oh my goodness. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm totally. Woo! All right, I get it a couple more. Yeah, wow, okay. No longer confused. We've got the, I just, I, I'm like, deep. I want you to see all of these cards. So this, the sun flew out like almost horizontal, and then you got the queen of emotions, and you got the four of inspiration, you got the three of voices, okay? So, you, um, <laughs> in the past, this flew out to the past energy, you were on the fence as to whether you were gonna give people your sun or your light. I think you were waiting to see how people were going to present themselves or start acting, because that's what I definitely get is like, do I give them more or do I not? Because we've got this queen of emotions here that's like a little, she's like, I'll give you a little bit of myself and then see what you do with that, right? I'll see if you take me for granted or I'll see if you think that I'm stupid or I'll see if you think that I'm like, can't see like through your lies and I'll see you know I'm gonna see how you treat me I'm gonna give you a little more it's not gonna be completely on the fence like the worst friend to have is someone that's on the fence for you I'd rather you hate me or you love me but don't be ambivalent okay um so that's for somebody there we have this queen of emotions though so you give people right a chance and then you let them run with it, right? You give them, that's that hangman energy, like I'm gonna just see this perspective. Cause then what came out here next was the chariot in reverse. And you're like, yeah, no, I'm not going. And there's all these people. Oh, I was gonna say people, all these horses, right? Like, well, are you gonna run with the herd? And she's like, no, I don't run with the herd, right? <laughs> the, 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 the T, I was gonna say the peeps, the T on you, what people are talking about is that you do not run with the herd, right? You might lead the herd, you might leave the herd, but you are not the herd. Speaking of herds and buffaloes, look at all of this. I mean, rhino spirit, this is hardcore. This is, okay, there's a lot of momentum. There's a lot of momentum. Because now we have this four of inspiration in this particular deck. I mean, it's, it's in reverse, it's foundations, but it's really what it's here. It's like 
kind of like a, a three of cups on steroids. It's like had building foundations with other people, like making steady plans with them, all this other stuff. It came out completely in reverse underneath this like wonky or the, the horizontal sun and the queen of emotions. That's kind of like, I'll give you a little bit right here. And it's like, no bueno, I'm not going to play with you. I'm not going to invest if you can't invest in me properly, if you can't act like a, a, a normal human being that's just kind to people on a regular basis, that doesn't play games and doesn't, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, we got a three of swords here. Along, There's a lot of people. I feel like you have been just doing your own damn thing, and I feel like you've finally gotten comfortable with being disliked. I feel like you've finally gotten comfortable with people making you out to be the villain to cover up their insecurities and then not taking responsibility for their own actions. I'm surprised that the queen, I've got two queens out here, right? You're already a damn empress, right? You've got the queens, I can feel the other ones. I can feel the queen of pentacles, but what came out here is like, I can't, I, you are unbothered. Why? Because when, as soon as people start moving funny and sideways, you're already on alert. You're already disengaging. I see. Yeah, I just see it like a balloon, like the the when you're going, uh, when you're jumping out of planes, whatever. And I see you just like you release and you don't even say anything. It's like a silent jump from the plane, and then you just let people hang themselves and whatever they they think that they're trying to run on you, right? <laughs> like this passive aggressive, trying to make you chase after them, trying to you know get you because your energy, you're good freaking karma brings good karma into other people's lives and then when you leave it they realize that they're stuck with their own damn karma and they were being protected by your ancestors and your angels because no matter where you are that you're going to be protected but they're also you know man's rejection if somebody walks away from you or ghosts you or like tries to play some like silly games like you know friendship and stuff like that or tries to be passive aggressive or like insinuate things underneath the all of the you know, gaslight you and like tell you that your feelings or what happened to you isn't right all of these things it's like that's the pink flag right as soon as that happens once you go on on you're like all right disengaging right backing away slowly and let them just hang themselves up because i definitely do this to the people in my life i let them hang themselves so that there's no question whose fault it was, right? This is this is true detachment. This is Aquarius and Venus. You might have some really big, because I'm getting savage. <laughs> People are calling you savage and cold. <laughs> and you're like, but I am heart-centered. I know what's for me, right? The Queen of Wands, unbothered. Her face is completely, yeah. This is really sexy. Pile three, I I resonate with you so hard. You are my family. I love you all. It's so good to be back on the platform. And um, we've got a lot of different new things that are coming up that I've been working on in the in the midst, in the back, in the background. So anyways, um, please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy this content and would like to see more of it. Uh, those likes really help me out in the algorithm. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.